Hi everyone, Amy here with Never Grow Up Vacations and now it's time to come fly with Amy. So I am in Universal this weekend. I am so excited to be here. So I'm here for opening weekend of Mardi Gras. So in this video here today, I will be touring you around our hotel room and then I'll be touring you around the resort. We are staying on site at Universal. We are staying at the Endless Summer Dockside Resort. Um, which is one of the newer ones. The Dockside and Surfside were built like right before COVID. They were all ready to open and then parts closed down. So because of that, their opening was a little bit delayed. So these two towers really didn't open until about a year ago. So when I show you around, you'll notice that everything is almost brand new because it really hasn't been open all that long. So this is one of your more cost-effective options here at Universal, um, but you'll notice that these resorts are very well done and have all the amenities you and your family are looking for. One of the really nice features of Dockside and Surfside, also in Cabana Bay, I will throw in there, um, is that they have these family suites. So you'll notice in the room I'm about to show you, which is a two-room pool view. It sleeps a ton of people. Like you can easily sleep six in here with plenty of room to spread out, no space constraints. So that's like a really nice perk if you're a little bit of a larger family or you just wanna have some of that privacy. So let's take a look at this resort and this room. All right, so we're gonna to be touring the two room pool view. So we are located on the 12th floor. So just for um, knowledge, um, this is the front door. Um, you do have to put your little room key in to activate the power, so don't be alarmed if you hit the switch and it doesn't work. You gotta stick your little room key in there. Um, starting out here is a very large mirror, which it's perfect. I also like just some of these details here, like hooks, like how many times did you struggle to find somewhere to like hang your park bag? Not an issue here. Theming, already starting out with the super cute surfboard. It's plastic. Um, so this is the little kitchenette area and it's really nice because you have seating for at least five, I would say. You can probably fit another person on the other side. I'll show you that bench in just a moment, but you have a little bit of storage up here. This is considered a kitchenette, not a full kitchen. Um, you do have the microwave and you do have the fridge. You also do have a coffee machine and your sink. Plenty of little storage nooks. They even give you utensils, which I think is a super nice touch. Plenty of storage for all your little snacks there. This bench does pull out. So again, comfortably seating five with the poof, um, but you can fit probably another person there. And also USBs, which is super helpful. As everyone knows, never a shortage of outlets. And then this is your this is still the same room, so this is considered room one, if you will. These are both queen size beds. Um, I do like the look. It's very like beachy um, and super cute with the sail and the sand. Great little theming, a little bit of shiplap headboard. So like that's a really cool touch. I will say the one thing this room is missing is a sofa. And that's just a personal preference of mine. Like it is nice to have a sofa, but we'll make do with the two beds. So you got plenty of storage here, all these drawers, plenty of space. So really in theory, you can make this, um, you know, for the kids and then the parents take the bigger bedroom, which I'll show you. TV, plenty of lighting. Again, love that little like detail there. That's so cute. And I think this is a really nice touch too. I haven't seen this at all of the Universal Resorts because we stayed at Cabana Bay not long ago and there was no sanitizer. So that's a cute little sanitizer. I'll show you the view in a minute. I'll show you it actually from the other room. So hold tight on that. Again, more USBs. I'll show you the bathroom because that's what we're about to come up with first. Double sinks, ideal for a couple as we are or a family. So important. Am I right or am I right? Very cute little surf and sand. So, um, hand soap. Every one of the Universal hotels has different theming on their soap and stuff. So I think that's like just really fun. Um, love this tiling. How cute. Um, great looking shower. Does have a tub. You have kiddos. And again, here's some of your um, products. It's 
called Sea Salt, um, scented, so that's really nice. You have shampoo and conditioner. And then you do have another bar of soap. Very nice, I'm excited to smell that. You do have a very handy hook for um, bathing suits. Although it is February, I was about to say January, but although it's February, it is hot out today. It's 90 degrees, but tomorrow it's supposed to be about 60. So not as hot, but the pools are heated. I did ask at check-in. This is the second full bedroom. So just from an orientation perspective, this door does close. It's out in your hallway from here. The other bedroom is back here where I'm standing right now. So it's nice because you can close this off and it's another full bedroom, right? So ideally parent, you take this room, you got your own little private space and you stick your kids out there. So again, super cute um, theming here with the breeze, plenty of outlets there on each side, USBs on each side. You do have this little closet, which I just shoved my luggage in there. You do have some extra blankets and pillows. You can also request them if you need. <clears throat> TV in here. You do have a safe in here. I will admit there is no drawer storage in this main bedroom, but again, you have the closet, which would probably suffice for most people. I do also want to point out there is tons of storage underneath each of the beds. So like that's handy when it comes to luggage, right? There's your end table. Let me show you this view. So we got the pool view. So there are two pools on site, one at each tower. There are two towers here at Dockside. The lobby is in the center and then the two towers are on either side, which is really, really nice. So you have one pool here, one pool on your other side. And then this blue resort that you see right here, that is Surfside. So very close. You can probably you get the walk right across the street. So at any rate, um, I don't know if you can see all the detail here, but there is sand down there, which is so cool. A great looking little beach bar right there. Plenty of loungers and yeah, what could be better? And we also have a Volcano Bay view right there. And then the rest of the parks would be off behind this building. So can't see that, but how cool to see Volcano Bay because it's really cool at night. So there you have it. There is our two room pool view. So stay tuned in the rest of this video and we will take a look at the rest of this resort. Set up with a number of stations, this dining area is perfect for any taste or budget. We dined at this location once during our trip and were incredibly impressed with the speed of service and fresh product that was served. One of the benefits of the Universal Orlando Hotels is having the availability of Starbucks within the lobby. Check-in is done seamlessly in this area and in the lobby. The lobby is great to just hang out and relax in. Just off to the side is the lobby bar. This is a really bustling place at nighttime, but a really relaxing area during the day. One of the best benefits of staying on site with Universal Orlando is the availability of their transportation service. Buses are available from all of the hotels to the City Walk area and then to the theme parks. In all of our experiences, we've never had to wait more than five minutes for the next bus to arrive. Note that at the end of the evening, they do group together dockside and surfside so your bus may make multiple stops. Located in the lobby of all of the on-site hotels is a small gift shop. This also includes an area to buy sundries.
Each tower of Dockside has its own pool, and they were almost identical, and they both also have beach bars. Both pools had zero entry points, as well as sandy beaches. We found them to be very relaxing and comfortable. Each of the beach bars functions as a bar slash lounge. There are small bites available for purchase as well as some cocktails to enjoy while you're at the pool. We had a really fantastic stay at Dockside and we will definitely be visiting this hotel and others at the Universal Orlando property. If you found this video helpful, hit the thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe to my channel for more amazing travel content. If you're looking to book your next Universal Orlando vacation, be sure to reach out to me with the details listed in the description or drop a comment down below. Until next time, happy travels!